Hello, welcome back to Markets of Sunshine. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to make a tassel that you can use for your junk journals, using it on any outside packaging to beautify your gift wrapping, use it as a curtain tie back, or on a scrapbook album on the spine, any kind of a spine decoration on a planner, anything like that. But they're not just for junk journals. They can be used in a variety of home decor ways. So I'm going to show you just how easy it is to make one of these in a bohemian style. And I went through my stash. So here's my little basket of all my bohemian color fabrics and things like that trim. So these are what I have picked out. And I decided to go with a length that is the length of my little cutting mat here. So this is um, like 16 inches. So each piece is approximately going to be 16 inches. So these are the three trims that I picked out that's going to be going in here. And then underneath of that are the fabrics. So all I have to do is now decide the width of the fabrics that are going to go in the tassel. These are also beautiful to use as garland to hang <clears throat> off your rear view mirror in your vehicle, to hang on a mirror, on a picture frame, just anywhere that you want to add an ornament of beauty, feel free to do that. And then what we're going to use today to hold our tassel and then to be able to hang it wherever we want to hang it, it has this open uh, hoop that you can just open it right here and they're very uh, hard for me to open so I've opened it once and I put my little lobster claw hook on it and so now this if you put a um, little ribbon loop or you get a little fastener uh, to put on the side of your planner or if you have a three ring binder, you can hook this in the three ring binder or tie a ribbon around that uh, top loop in your three ring binder. And then you can hook this on there. So that's, that's what these are for. And so um, this will be available in my Etsy shop and I will be making them as the orders are placed. So this first one will be available. And so first come first serve, but then anybody who purchases after this one sells, it will be, they'll be made to order. But this is going to be the loop. So you can take this off, you can use this on something else, or you can just keep it on the little circle already and you can, you know, hang it that way. So this is a one and a quarter inch little ring that can be opened. And then the lobster claw is about one and a quarter length and about a half an inch wide just for all of the technique kind of things. Now, let's see what I have here. So this is a piece of Indian quilt fabric. And I purchased this from a nice Florida lady. I'm also in Florida. And I didn't know that she was in Florida when I found her on Facebook and started following her. But I was looking for bohemian fabrics and trims. And I happened to find her shop. And I like the fact that she has a daily deal. And then she'll offer a free um, item or little gift set, whatever, with the purchase that day. So kind of like what I do in my shop, but I like that. So when, when other sellers are, you know, giving, giving you a little gift with purchase, that's what I like. So anywho, now this is, as you can see, it's just hand stitched like this with a running stitch and in three rows. And I'm trying to see, I didn't, I, one, Okay, so there's three pieces of fabric 
and then it's just held together with a running stitch all the way down. So if I were to cut this, I would need to cut it in between this row here of the running stitches to get any kind of where it's not going to start coming apart on me. All right, so this is two and a half inches wide, and I don't want the fabric to be that wide for a tassel. So if I cut it at one and a quarter, which is be right here, it would be exactly perfect. And then that would give me one and a quarter on both sides. So that's what I'm going to do. But I'm going to use the pinking shears. So I've already cut it because it was a long length. I've already cut it there. So I'm just going to cut it right here. Where did I say? So this, is, this stitch down here is kind of, uh, it's not straight, but of course you wouldn't expect it to be because it's hand stitched. Okay, so I need to cut it here. All right, I just wanna make sure where am I cutting? Okay, so I'm gonna cut it. So it's gonna be a little wider on one side, but that's okay. So I'm just gonna cut it as close to this running stitch here that I can without cutting the running stitch. And because I'm using the pinking shears, it won't come apart. And because it has two rows of stitches on either side of where I'm cutting it, so it's gonna stay together. No worries. Okay, perfect. Now that's the width that more or less you want for your tassels. And so that's like one and a quarter inches wide. But what I do when I'm cutting mine, I don't sit here and mess around with fussing about, oh, is that exactly a quarter, one and a quarter inches? I just go with it, you know, don't worry about it. Just go with the flow. There's no stressing when you're making a tassel. We want it to be happy time. We don't want it to be stressful time, right? Yes. Okay, so now let me put this one over here. Let me see. I know it's not going to be 16 inches. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this piece straight here just so that I can get that out of the way. And you can make these the length you want. I mean, so I've seen ones made really short. So like this, for instance, is approximately 14 inches. Yeah. Um, so that would mean, okay, so let's fold it in half. Seven inch. And that's still a, a very cute, nice size tassel. And then these would be cut into strips. See, okay. So I can save this for whatever future project I'm going to be doing. Now, I'm gonna come over here, and this one is not gonna be um, like stuffed full. So that's another thing is, again, you can decide on how wide you want yours. I'm almost thinking I'm going, to, I'm going to use this fold line here as my guide. All right, let's see. See how close am I? Okay. A little bit more to go. So, uh, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for being here. This is your daily dose of sunshine here with me, Marcia. And um, if you are not a subscriber, then I invite you to subscribe. And I've also just launched my podcast channel, Markets of Sunshine. And if you go to my blog, which is marketsofsunshine.com, you'll find my introduction 
trailer episode that I've already put up yesterday, published yesterday. And then Friday, which is Friday the 13th, which I am not superstitious and I don't believe in any of that kind of thing. It's just one of those things. And I said August 12th, Friday, August 12th, but I don't know how I was thinking yesterday was Wednesday. But anyway, just to so, you know, correct that date error on my part. So Friday, August 13th um, will be... The first, uh, I have um, challenges that I will be doing with my podcast. So my podcast is going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be really interactive. It's going to be different. And uh, so it's all about Daily Sunshine Challenge. So that's the name of it. And if you're following me on Instagram or if you're signed up with my newsletter, then you already know that. And um, so you get you get sneak peek announcements if you are on my newsletter list, and if you're on my Instagram, you get sneak peek announcements. And I'm already getting really good response, so I'm so happy and thankful and blessed and humbled by all of the love and support that I am receiving. This has been a 10-year goal in the making. It was a dream, it became a goal, and now it became a reality. So I am just over the moon with excitement and joy and just, you know, absolutely thrilled, thrilled, thrilled. So it, You'll find that link in my description below, but like I said, just go to marketsofsunshine.com. That is my blog, my website. And that's where you can also keep up to date with all of my Etsy shops and updates and um, YouTube videos. I post them there as well. But mainly if you get on my newsletter list, that's where you're going to really get in the know and be in the know before everybody else. And my private Facebook group, Markets of Sunshine, which that's in the description below. And I still hope I'm um, admin and I still help my friend Linda with her Facebook group. I love doing that. So I am not in any way overdoing it. I know I know my limitations, I know what I can do and what I can't do, and so at this point, I'm not going to be taking on any more collaborations or anything else like that. So I was invited to be a moderator in uh, one of the mental health programs that I mentioned to you guys before. And uh, so, so far, it's not interfered with my business at all. So this, my business and you guys come first. And so, but I've signed, I, you know, accepted Linda's collaboration. And so right now, I'm like I'm saying, I'm not going to be accepting any more collaboration offers. And um, I may be a moderator in that group. So if I do, I'll let you know and I'll start promoting that <clears throat> as well. So, but it has to be a collaboration. And, and when it becomes a collaboration, uh, then I will let you know. So I got two more to go, and I made a little beaded tassel charm to go with this. Did I just cut that? I don't know. Let me go back through here. Okay. Yes. No. Oh, no, no. That was that, that wild pink one. <laughs> this thing I kept saying to myself, what am I going to use that on? And then it was like a tassel, of course. It's going to be perfect for that. Okay, now, this is a beautiful paisley. Let's see, but it's too short that way. Yep, just a little bit. All right, so this way, let's see. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to cut this over here.
And if you um, are been following along and noticed that I have a monthly um, embellishment kit club, I have a 50% off coupon for all of my newsletter subscribers. So again, if you are on my newsletter, that's where you get all the good deals. And it can only be used for the August embellishment kit. So whatever else you want to purchase, you can do that and add it to your cart, but you're only going to receive 50% off on the embellishment kit. The coupon was set up that way, and so that's what I let you know. But so don't uh, think that if you put it in, you're going to get everything for 50% off. That's not the way it's set up. It's only for the August embellishment kit. And to get free shipping, all you need to do is spend $35 and then you'll receive your order shipped for free to a U.S. mailing address. Does not apply to international. Sorry to say. And for me to be able to offer free shipping internationally, I would only be able to do that on a larger order. And uh, so if somebody was going to come along and spend like $100, then I could say, yeah, okay, yeah, I'll give you free shipping. But otherwise, I just can't afford to do that. Now, oh, I thought this would be so pretty in here. Isn't this pretty? And then this hot pink one, pink and orange. But you have to have some kind of a glimmery, glitzy thing in there. And this was just perfect. So I love it. And again, this this way can we Oh, we make it. Wow. I thought it was going to be too short. Yay! Well, that's thrilling. Very nice. And you know what else was thrilling to me today? And I have to say thank you because it was it was all of you who did that. And my last organizing video that I did on Monday got outstanding views and I just was so thrilled with that so thank you thank you thank you for showing me that you know I know what it is that you guys love and I will keep making those organizing videos and you really enjoy the bohemian challenge and the altered paperclip challenge so these um, challenges will be continuing and so I just wanted to say thank you, thank you, thank you, because that was just a delight to see that. And I had come on to the Facebook today because of spam comments. And I'm sure if you have a channel, you know what I'm talking about. So those are naughty, and I have to take them off. And so I had to go in there and remove those. And then that's when I saw that, oh, wow. They really enjoyed that organizing video. So again, thank you, thank you, thank you. Here we are. Last but not least. And then there's one other thing I wanted to show you. I already have it made, but I'll show you how I made it. Okay, so now this is one long piece. I'm going to cut this little smidgen off here. here in the scraps and then I'm going to hold this up here turn it around this way pinking shears that particular pair are very heavy so that's why I was having a little bit of a struggle trying to get them out of the way okay just love these. By the way, these scissors will save your wrists and your fingers. So it will help you with like arthritis pain or if you just have weak muscles like I do. And uh, you'll find these in the description below with my Amazon affiliate link. And um, you, there's no extra charge to you to use that link. And it just helps 
support my channel with a small little commission that they give to me. So thank you so much if you wanted to make a purchase with any of those Amazon links and of course my Etsy shop or the buy me a coffee. So I have different, different, different ways and for you to show support to my channel and my free trainings that I offer you guys and all the giveaways that I do. So that's just a way for you guys to give back to me. And I really appreciate it. And sharing, sharing, sharing. Thank you so much to those of you who are sharing. And I really appreciate that as well. Ooh, I am so sorry. Oh. Bumped you guys and I hit the tripod. Oh my word. I'm sorry. I hope I didn't give you guys too much of a shake. Now. Let's count and see how many we have, and then we'll put this all together. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Did I get that one? So now what we're going to do, somehow that one looks like he came shorter. All right, so some are a little longer, some are a little, you know, right at the 16 mark, so that's fine. So now we're going to just take it and we're going to fold it in half. And I think I'll put this one on top. And then, let me see, yep, let's see. All right, so we want to take out, I'm going to leave the fuzzy, but I'm going to take these two. All right, so these two will go here. And then I made a beaded tassel. Now, to get these two beads here on and this first one. So I tied a double knot here at the end. And then I took a match and I fray, uh, heated up the end. So you got to be careful with that because if you have any kind of a sensitivity to things, it, it kind of, it did give me a little bit of a, give me a little bit of a discomfort there for a few seconds, but um, it's because I'm very sensitive and I have asthma and other kind of things, sensitivities. But anyway, so this is what you do. So you take one of these needle threaders and you see how long this one is? I bought a package of these off of Amazon for a really very inexpensive price and it had three little strawberry pen cushions. So if I can find that listing, which I'll have to go back through my orders, I purchased this like a couple of years ago then I will put this in my link. I'll put it in my Amazon links below. So you put this through, and the beautiful thing is about wanting getting these that have such a long loop on the end. It's okay, so then I could feed it through the bead and have this big whole long loop came out, and then I put this through it like that and then pulled it through the bead. Now you have to hold on to this real carefully right here so it doesn't pull that out. And you only do it until you get it back through the bead. Then you pull this part back out of here. So depending on how the size of the hole in the bead will depend on how easy it is to get it back out. This one wasn't too bad. This is a little wood bead. The, this is a wood bead. These are plastic with a metal insert in the middle. And then this is ceramic. So that one was the hardest one of them all. I was like, wow. And it was a little bit of a smaller hole. I could see that. But I thought, well, it worked so good on all the others, you know. <laughs> so just keep that in mind. But it was fun to do. 
right so I just like I said I just tied the double knot in the end and now we're going to take this little guy here and we're just going to hang him off of one side like that so we're going to let this side dangle down and then I will come over here and we'll do some more beads together but now what I want to do is I want to take this whole thing I'm going to do it all right let's make sure there's our middle okay so there's our middle wait wait all right was I have I took all my clothes pins away of all things why I don't know let me see all right just want to get something so that I know where, where my middle is I'm just gonna use this paper clip down over there and we're going to take all of it now and we're going to put it through this end here so I'm just gonna like fold them in half and then we're gonna feed it through like this And then just, you know, play around with it, get them where you want it. And I can remove this. All right, just to, just a FYI, don't use a paper clip <laughs> because it it's hard to get it back off. Oh, okay. And I'm going one of these times. We're going to do it where you take this in and you curl it, and that in and you curl it. I haven't. That's still on my to-do list, but we'll do that one day. All right. So now I'm going to take this here. All right. So I can see already. So I'm going to have to put the same amount of beads on the other end, otherwise it's going to fall back through. Because um, even if I, even after I uh, tie it off, So right here, if I come in, well, no, that's okay, but still. So if I come in here and I go on the sewing machine, that's how I do mine. You can just, if you don't have a sewing machine that you want to do this on, you have to have a heavy-duty denim needle. And you have to keep in mind, okay, here's the loop. So put your fingers here, find the loop. So the loop's way up here. But you want to make sure that foot of your sewing machine is going to be about here. So that's at least an inch so that you're not going to run into that. But it, you'll see if you ever do it like that. Yeah. Actually about three quarters of an inch down. <clears throat> but just for now, for demonstration purposes and being on the video purposes, we're going to just take a piece of ribbon and I'm going to tie it around that and then we'll be able to put our beads on the other end of this. Okay, so let's just get this here. You want to pull it down so that you know it's going to be underneath that hoop and then the tighter you pull it the smaller it gets up there at the top you see how that works so you don't even have to sew it on the sewing machine pull it 
pull that as tight as I can get it. Okay, there you go. And then those two can hang down as well, and then they become part of your tassel. You see how pretty that is? And then now this is what's going to hang off of wherever you want to put it. Very pretty. Isn't that nice? And I love the beads on here. So now let's get the beads on the other side and I'll show you exactly how I did this. Very easy to do, but you have to have beads with a little bit of a larger hole depending on the ribbon that you're using. <clears throat> so, everything that I used. All right, so now with the exception, all right, so down over here, I started it with this wood bead, and I was thinking that I wanted to start it with this. I think this is just gorgeous. Isn't that pretty? Look at how pretty that is. It's like a little miniature glass flower. It's so cute, like a bowl, you know? All right, so this is this is the whole <clears throat> the whole evil plan, <laughs> the whole idea. So if it will work, so this is I want to show you start to finish, just so that you see exactly what I did, and if whatever hiccups I have, we're gonna we're gonna experience them together, and hope to goodness this thing won't break and cut my hand or something. Okay. My husband's never here when I need him. All right, let's see if I'm gonna, let's see if it's gonna work. I don't know, maybe that one's not gonna go through. All right. So that hole is too small, sad to say. All right, let me get the wood bead. We're gonna do exactly what you see on this side. We're gonna do it on that side, but we're gonna use maybe a couple of different colors in here. So I used this pink glitzy one. I think that was, like that. And then I used more of a clear pink, which was like that. And then I used like the rainbow. So I'm going to use this one just to make, mix it up a bit. And then let's see what else. Okay, let's go with that one. That's pretty. Okay. So now we just need the wood bead at the beginning, the yellow little yellow wood bead, and we need this ceramic bead. All right, so let me get those out. Okay, so here's the container that I was picking from. So here's another one of these. So we've got that. That's good. And these were really cute and unique. Wasn't that pretty? Let's see, I think that hole should be big enough, so we're going to use that one instead of that other one. I love that. Okay, now, put these back. Okay, so brought you in a little closer. First thing we're going to do is we're going to tie... Well, no. Okay, first thing, so we're going to do this in reverse order now that I have this looped around there. So the first one is going to be this one here. All right, so this was the one I had a difficult time with, so I think we'll save him for the end, and we're going to go the opposite way, and we're going to put this one on first. So I'm going to just feed them the opposite way. So I'll do that because, like I said, it was a struggle, but you see how easy that one went through. And then these go on very easily as well. So we're going to start with this one. So you see how large the opening is. So, you know, work with something that's going to be easy. Don't, you know, don't give yourself, you know, don't make it difficult for yourself. Okay. And that's what I discovered as well with this is look at what's on the inside of this. So when I was pulling the other one apart, when I was trying to get it to, to, to you know, come together, that's what happened. So now that that's already 
coming apart on me. I don't know where that's coming from. Now, let's see here. One. Okay, I did want to fight with the yellow one. So, let me look at my beads. And then, so let's come in here with one of these. This would be cute. Oh, right. I like that. Okay, good, 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 good. I was looking at these thinking, what am I going to use these on? And look at how cheap this is. It's a Dollar Tree purchase, but look at that. <sighs> All right. I'm not going to fight with that. Now, let's see. What do we have in here? We have a flower. Ooh, that would be pretty. And we have a cute little... Oh yeah, Cinderella's coach. We have a clock. Oh, that would be cute. And I I got these off of Amazon, a butterfly. Teddy bear. And I'll put this in the description below as well. A music note. That would be cute. Let's do the music note. Would that be cute? Let's put it on and we'll find out. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, that's cute. I like that. All right, so now all I need to do is to tie two knots here at the end, and that's going to be what I did over here. Scoot them together, and then, yep, so then it stays, it's not going to fall off. So isn't that cute? I like that. So now, very unique. So now you have a beaded tassel on both sides, and I can pull this a little bit. Yep, see? Now, so they're evenly weighted, and that's what's important. That's what we were looking to do and that's what was the important part so now <clears throat> however you look at it from that side or from that side it's very very pretty now if you wanted to come in here you can just this I'm going to leave it for you but you can come in here and you can just cut this a little bit and then tear it so any of these that you want them to be a little bit more narrow you can do that yourself no problem and then it gives it that nice torn look as well. So if this one's a little too wide for you, that's perfectly fine. But otherwise, I mean, I think it's perfect the way it is. I think it looks really nice. So there you have it. Quick and easy. Not, a, not, you know, not difficult at all. And you can even come in here on these and tie a bead at the, at the bottom of both of these. Let's do that real quick. And if you have a video about how to make a beaded bookmark using fabric, and this is the method that I used for that. Just come here like this, tie a little knot. Cute, cute, cute. So just that quick and easy. Let's see if there was a darker orange one in here. Ah! Okay, I'm gonna do the 
same thing on this end. This is like a darker orange, and the other one is like a red. So it's going to be real pretty. And you can do that and tie more, uh, you know, all the way up. You can space it out, but isn't that pretty? Look at how that nice that looks now. Gives it that extra little bit of glimmer. It makes it so, so pretty. And you can turn this around, put it on the other side, however you want it, however you want it to be. So there you go. And again, like I said, I will list this in my Etsy shop. And thank you for being here with me today. Tomorrow is our practice calligraphy day. And whatever, um, I have something else planned, but I don't remember now what it is. I have to go back and watch my video from, I think, yesterday when I said, oh, yeah, we're going to do that Thursday. And I don't remember what it was. I don't know if I'm going to start the altered book. Whatever it was I said, I'll go back and watch it. And that's what we'll do. But other than calligraphy I don't know I can't remember what it was thank you thank you thank you keep creating in the sunshine and I'll see you in tomorrow's video bye bye